Oh, stop. You're pure evil. Why are you coloring my arms? Oh, you need a bath. And a shower. And to get the heck out of my shack. What are you, anyway? Actually, it's a witty bit. An extremely rare and majestic species. It doesn't seem so majestic to me. Oh, is that slobber? That means she has chosen your shack for her nesting ritual. Now get out and don't return until she's finished. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What do you think you're doing? I represent the Endangered Species Coalition. They made me chairman because they wanted to hold meetings at the library. Really? Working that clout, huh? Mr. the Hedgehog, as vice chairman of the ESC, I need you to vacate the domicile until this creature finds its true soulmate and completes the courtship ritual. Ugh! It's been too long since we've had a slumber party. Huh? <sighs> Ooh, Sidekick Magazine. I wonder who's number two this month. You two must be having a blast. Heck yeah! I love destroying tails and mutant wrestling every night. <laughs> Ain't that right, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> Order up for... Sanic? Uh, I, I think you mean Sonic. No, it says Sanic right here. This may take a minute. I can't take it anymore! You guys gotta help me! He's my best friend, but living with him's a nightmare. Any idea how much longer the Wittabit is going to be at Sonic's shack? Could be months. You can't hurry, love. But maybe you can push it along. Just a few tweaks and the Wittabit call will be up and running. Sounds like Eggman after Medburger's all-you-can-eat promotion. They don't seem to be hitting it off. I bet we can get these two together. We just need to set the right mood. <laughs> Good evening, lovebirds. Our special tonight is an herb-crusted tilapia with mango chutney glaze, who finished off with a generous helping of gas station nacho cheese. <laughs> They're so ugly they deserve to be extinct. And those Wittabits are pretty ugly too. <laughs> Sonic and his dingus friends won't know what hit them when I put my diabolical plan in motion. If you had just used scented candles like I said... They weren't scented. The package said fresh air. That's not a scent. What are you, some kind of rube, Sonic? Don't blame the candles. We should be talking about the real issue, your substandard violin playing. Keep it down. You're upsetting this rare, delicate creature. Now, let's give him a good shove. Uh... Oh, are you happy now, Tails? We just lost our bachelor. How can I be happy? Until we get rid of that thing, I'm stuck with you trashing my place and watching the Real Housewives of Gogoba Village. Oh, oh, you think living with you is a picnic? Ever look up neat freak in the dictionary? Because if you did, you'd find a series of words that describe what a neat freak is, which also describe you. Come quick, Eggman's going ballistic. Ah. Uh. You'll never stop my new improved ball bots. They're virtually indestructible. I 
I did say virtually. All right, an Eggman fight. I've been looking to get out some aggression. Foreign beast on the field. <laughs> Don't worry, I got this. By decree of the Endangered Species Coalition, this is now a protected area. You'll need to move your little battle elsewhere. Get bit, Beaver! I don't have to take orders from you! Look, it's an endangered species. Let's just move over here and be out of its way. Well, I'm staying right here! Well, I'll be battling over here! Ah, uh, fine. Ready to be decimated, Sonic? Uh, Why are we even protecting this thing? It clearly wants to be destroyed! It keeps wandering in front of lasers! The ESC now declares this a protected area. This is what happens when bureaucracy gets involved. It hurts small villainy! If I never see a wit of it again, it'll be too soon. Attraction call might have worked too well. Oh. Everybody, please remain calm. Your screams of terror are upsetting these serenely majestic creatures. these things were endangered. Actually, if there are more than 50, they can be legally relocated to a new area, such as a farm, glue factory, or a nature preserve. And Sonic could move back into his shack. Ah, uh, crud. Including the female, I can only count 49. Don't feel bad, Sonic. That's higher than I can count. There's got to be another Whitabit somewhere out there. But how do we find it? These things got a pretty pungent musk. My expert Schnazola should be able to track one down. <sighs> Oof, something rank up ahead. Either we're getting closer to a Whitabit or we're passing Gogaba Village. We gotta find a 50th Whitabit. I can't keep living with tails. Every day he writes a list of chores to do on his chore board. Thankfully, he's never assigned any to me, but still, it's an eyesore. Sonic's driving me bonkers. The guy can't even tell the difference between a stationary laser reflector and a multifaceted laser refractor. <laughs> yeah, words. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, merciful landfills. What is that awful smell? It's number 50. <laughs> Go ahead, Tails. Go get him. I prefer my lunch to stay in my stomach, thank you very much. Well, how else is he going to get back to my shack? Figure it out yourself. I'm done doing your dirty work. What do you say we let these two sort this out? You'll have to speak up! My nose is pitched! <sighs> you know, you're being a real donut hole, Tails. You're the donut hole, donut hole! <laughs> I guess we're both kind of donut holes, aren't we? Maybe best friends don't have to be best roommates. Maybe not. Put her there. <sighs> okay, too long, getting weird. So let's move this beast. Shame we don't have your Whitabit call handy. That's it. I could load up the call sound to my communicator. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, sure, whatever. And now that there's 50 of them, I can have my shack back and we can haul these guys off to a nature preserve. And we'll get right on that, as soon as those two lovebirds finish their courting ritual. How long will that take? About a week. <laughs> Looks like you two are still roommates! <laughs> I think you mean you three. I've been living under your porch. You can't live under my porch. I'll take that as an invitation to move into the house with you and Sonic. I know a couple of possums will be sorry to see me go, but it's worth it. Let's go home, roomies! <laughs>